Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome to episode 13 of my Recycle Review Android tutorial. This is the final video. I said that the last video, but this one's definitely the final one. So where we left off, we, we changed everything into a fragment. The app was working. Um, I had some problems with the virtual device, but I deleted all of them. I uploaded a new one, so let's see how that works. But um, anyways, the app should be working. It should be mimicking a list view. It should be pulling all the data from JSON. Um, and you should really have a lot of tools in your tool set now to really um, you know, branch off and start making your own apps and uh, or make your app better or worse or, <laughs> or whatever you think my code does for you. Um, so in this one, let's make a card view and let's also uh, prevent the app, app from crashing when we rotate it. So real quick, to prevent the app from crashing when we rotate it, let's go into our manifest. Android manifest, where are you? Right down here below all the resources right in right in our activity let's go in between and just go Android config changes so Android config changes orientation orientation um, line not dash but a vertical line and go screen size and that's pretty much it. it's just um, configuring the changes to the different screen size whether it's landscape or portrait or kind of a different um, phone size tablet size etc this is where you would also um, force your app to go portrait or landscape how do you do that do you go Android and you just go orientation right here, screen orientation portrait. So with this right here, I believe if you go Android screen orientation portrait, it will force the app to always stay in portrait mode. Also, I believe that's the same with probably landscape. Yeah, but again, we're not doing either or. We want to allow our user to go from portrait to landscape. If you do go landscape, know that this will change. Uh, or how do you do that? You would go, if you want a different layout for your landscape view, I believe you go activity main dash landscape, and then it'll pick up um, what th that you want to do that for your landscape view. Just Google it. Um, I, I believe that's close to being right if it's not right. Now let's go ahead and make our. Um, so we're gonna make our card view. Let me see what we're doing. We're gonna do that in our list row. I'm just closing out everything. Go open up your list row. All right, let's give us some more room to work. Get out of here. Um, our image view. Yeah, let's just go. I don't know what I'm waiting for. I'm just wait. I'm just. I'd like to waste the time. Android. Dot support. Dot v7. Dot widget. Dot card view. There we go. And again, this card view. You know, we can use this card view because in the Gradle at the very beginning we added card view support to card view um, no inside this we want XML NS card view HTTP Shemus Res Auto. What do we want? Shemus dot. Yeah, we want the Res Auto. We want the Android.com APK Res Auto. That's cool. We want XMLNS tools. HTTP. Uh, we want the tools one. There we go.
Android ID equals at no, um, ID yeah at plus ID slash what's we'll called card view. Android um <laughs> layout with layout with equals that's what I want right? we're gonna match the pairing Android layout height match pairing as well right some uh, breathing room 7 DP uh, card view card corner radius we'll put 4 DP that's that's rounding the corners so again you don't have to do that uh, do whatever you want um, so it's completely up to you um, we're gonna put this card view down below, so we're gonna because we're putting everything inside our cards. Uh, now we're gonna make another relative layout because this the the top relative layout um, is holding everything, and then let's redo it. Um, we need a new relative layout. Relative layout. Wrap content. Wrap content. It's kind of cool. Kind of did that for me. Um, Android background. No, we have to get inside this. Great and simple. Android background equals at drawable selector. Awesome. So since it's right here, we get rid of this one. For a cleaner look. Now we're gonna put this down below, right above our card view. Uh, what happened? Why is it acting crazy? What did it do? We don't we don't call it article title. We call it uh, just title, right? Yeah, maybe this has been wrong the entire time. I'm not sure, but uh, let's get rid of those. Okay, that's cool. And yeah, I believe we successfully have our card view. One more thing, just to add to the card view layout, is that we're gonna want to take out the line divider that we had for the lists. So this decoration right here. Let's just comment this out. And now let's run. Let's hope this works. Hence the words, let's hope this works. These emulators are a piece of work. Here we go. Launching. I think we got it. I hope we got it. Yes, here we go. So now they're all in card views. Again, they're kind of white card views. They might be difficult to see on the screen. But again, it did work. We successfully adjusted these card views. When we click on them, you can see the blue only highlights in the white area, which is awesome. Um, we'll launch into a web activity from here. And 
that should be it for the Recycler View Android tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed your time with me. If you made it through, you are a warrior. You are an absolute warrior for getting this, getting through this whole thing without wanting to strangle me. Maybe you did want to strangle me. I'm sure you did. <laughs> if you want to talk mad trash, definitely talk trash in the comments. If you want to give thanks, give thanks. Hey, it's all in good fun. Um, anytime, you know, hit me up, contact me if you need. Uh, help or if you struggle with this code and um, you know what it was kind of a cluster jumble putting this whole thing together you know maybe you'll have to redo it at some time but anyways have fun programming thanks for joining me and you guys take care talk to y'all later bye